Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, Memorial Day, May the 30th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Welcome to the Weather Extreme video, and we're going to start off, as we typically do, with some great shots this morning. How about... A few high clouds over Hamilton and off to the east as we look at the sunrise from the uh, campus of Hamilton High. I was happy to speak up there about two weeks ago. And another great shot, not quite as bright, but uh, certainly a beautiful shot as we look out over the Tennessee River at Decatur, looking out over the bridges up there. And then I couldn't help but include this one. Look at the sunshine coming up over the guns of the battleship Alabama. Well, it is hot. Look at that. It is hot across the country. I'd say now we're somewhere around 60% of the country in the 60s. That's all that yellow. And a lot of that 60 area that's yellow is in the 70s. So it is very, very warm. All those 70s up into Missouri and Oklahoma and Kansas and parts of Iowa and Nebraska and up the eastern seaboard and across the southeast. So it is just plain warm. The reason for all of that is that we have high pressure centered over the southeastern U.S. and that is certainly pumping warmth from the south to the north. And in the upper atmosphere we have a combination of a ridge, a big ridge, that is the big story for us over the eastern half of the country. In the meantime a very strong trough and a closed low over the western United States. However, the, tr uh, the uh, closed low and the trough are going to be deflected across the northern side of the ridge. While the ridge is going to be dampened down somewhat, the ridge stays with us and uh, we will get into a situation where perhaps we'll see uh, some isolated air mass showers as we head toward the weekend. Across central Alabama, we uh, have a range of temperatures from the mid-70s down to the upper 60s. So 69 at uh, Tuscaloosa and Calera. Um, Looks like 68 at Muscle Shoals, 64 at Fort Payne, 71 at Montgomery. So a real range of temperatures across uh, central Alabama. And just so that you know, uh, let's take a look at the climate uh, report. 94 was the high yesterday. 99 is the record for yesterday. And look at that. 84 is where we should have been. And we have had uh, no, very little rain this month. And we're down three and a half inches for the month of May after some uh, wet weather. On the uh, watch warning map across the central part of the United States, uh, you can see that we have some wind advisories as the gradient's a little tight between the upper ridge and the, the uh, closed uh, low at 500 millibars. And of course, the surface pattern kind of uh, the, the uh, gradient packing in there just a little bit. QPF tells the story. Very little chance that we'll see much rain over the next five days. And most of that rain that you see on their forecast uh, in the tenth of an inch category comes at the end of the period when we see some isolated showers. Moderate risk of severe in parts of uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, a little tiny bit of Iowa, and uh, a little bit of uh, Minnesota. So uh, uh, de definitely uh, strong severe, uh, storms up that direction. Uh, that's day one, and of course that's surrounded by slight risk that goes all the way from northern Oklahoma all the way to the Canadian border. Day two, that uh, risk shifts over to the Great Lakes, uh, stretching from just north of uh, St. Louis, or the St. Louis area actually, across Chicago and up into the upper peninsula of Michigan. On the uh, tropical uh, situation, we do have some clouds across the tropics, across Cuba and Hispaniola, and uh, the... the uh, eastern half of the Caribbean, but no organized storms going on just yet. 06Z GFS model run, and there's our surface high with a fairly tight gradient producing the wind advisories over the central plain states. On Tuesday, the high is still situated over the southeastern United States, so things not going very far. In the upper atmosphere, as we saw yesterday, the Upper ridge is retrograding, and as it does, uh, of course, it's still keeping its uh, hold on our weather, and it retrogrades, but also uh, builds back in by Thursday, so I think we stay dry through Thursday. Friday, we begin to see uh, the ridge is still there and still very strong, but notice we've got a little disturbances in there that are uh, just enough to probably help uh, enhance the chances for a few, not very many, air mass thunder showers, and the same is true 
on Saturday, a week, uh, uh, you know, next weekend, and uh, certainly the possibility there, and again on Sunday. So it looks like we're going to get into a situation where we will see some air mass thunderstorms, kind of summer-like. And uh, here's Monday, a week from today, and we can see that the ridge still fairly strong, although some relief for New England states and the mid-Atlantic states is uh, the ridge is kind of retrograded and building up into um, the western parts of Canada, uh, and that is going to allow us to uh, see a few more showers, so I think by Monday we may actually get into the scattered category and out of that isolated shower situation. Looking further afield into Voodoo, uh, GFS not as uh, encouraging about some cooler weather. There's uh, the 10th, and that's uh, Friday the 10th, looking at um, the ridge building back in. But notice what's down over Cuba. We've got a little bit of a closed low at 500 millibars, and that's the reflection of what might be a tropical system. And, of course, that would be 10 days into hurricane season, so that's a good possibility. And then, finally, at the end of the period, at uh, the end of the forecast cycle, the uh, 14th of June, and there we go, the ridge is here, but it has broken down not nearly as strong. Again, I'm not as quite as optimistic that that'll happen, but we'll wait and see. You know how it is with voodoo. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Again, we're on a one a day this week. Uh, James Spann is on vacation, and I'll be filling in for him. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful Memorial Day. Don't eat too much barbecue. And enjoy the day, but stay hydrated. Keep that water flowing, if you're, especially if you're outside, since we're going to get into the mid-90s. In the meantime, have a great day, and Godspeed. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things about Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.